Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a quick video, hopefully it's going to be quick, in which I'm going to talk about the books I've been reading recently. These books are a mixture of books I had to read for school and books I read just because I wanted to. So the first book I want to talk about is a big book. It's called Aurelia and it was written by Aragon, who is a very very famous um, poet, French poet, and he's not well known for his novels. And God, he should be. You might remember a book that I love, love, and it's called L'Education Sentimentale, and it was written by Flaubert. This is quite surprising because this book shows many similarities with L'Education Sentimentale. It's way really simple to qualify that book as a love story. It is a depiction of an era, a depiction of a society, is a depiction of an atmosphere basically follows the story of many characters but the main two protagonists are Ara uh, Aurélien <laughs> and Berenice and fall in love but not exactly in the same way well if you're expecting a love story you know that includes happiness sex and a happy ending it's definitely not that it is a very very beautiful read. The writing style is just amazing. It's also really great if you're interested in Paris and seeing it in you know depicted and described in and portrayed <laughs> in literature because it focuses a lot on Paris and it's just amazing and very accurate to I don't know to kind of like the personality and the character of Paris of the city if you think of you know cities as kind of living beings, I suppose. Second book is what I talk about when I talk about running by Murakami, uh, Haruki Murakami. My sister gave me that as a gift for my birthday because I love Murakami and I love running, so it was the perfect combination. That is a collection of thoughts and anecdotes and personal stories um, that all have in common, you know, either running or writing. Most of the time, both are intertwined. It's interesting because you get to know the writer a little bit more. It's also interesting because it gives a different insight as um, in what a writer is and what's his work. And also it's interesting to read about someone else's appreciation and opinion on running and why they run and what it makes them feel motivation and their aims. And it's very inspiring because he's a very, very... Um, advanced runner if that makes any sense. I loved it. I loved it. I really did enjoy that read. It's a short read and it's worth buying it, in my opinion. Third book I read is Le Futur de Villi by Villiers de Lilladon. I originally bought that for myself because I wanted to read and I realized that I had to read it for school as well, so that was interesting. I really love that book. It is typically the kind of book that I like. It's exactly the kind of story, the kind of style and the kind of writing that I like and the kind of theme, the era, everything. So despite the misogyny that is present in this book, it is amazing. It is the story of Edison, Thomas Edison. Obviously it's not an accurate story, but it's the story of Thomas Edison that has created um, a robot that is very, very similar to a real woman, apart from the fact that it is much better than a woman. It's basically Eve for Eve, Adam and Eve. So it's recreating a second Eve after the first one basically put us on Earth because of committing a sin. I, I don't think it's gonna be everyone's cup of tea. I don't think it's, you know, the kind of book that is very accessible and enjoyable for many, many people. It has a lot of long descriptions and a lot of, you know, descriptions that want to be kind of technological and scientific. Villiers de Ladon is a French writer who is not recognized, acknowledged and famous enough, in my opinion. He's very specific and very reminiscent and characteristic of a certain type of writing and literature and era. Uh, but if you like that kind of stuff, yeah, definitely a recommendation. Last one is L'Ombilique des Limbes and Le Pesner, written by Antonin Artaud. So that's the book I liked the less, the least. Even though he is a surrealist and belongs to the surrealism movement, which is maybe my favorite um, movement, I want to say. I was willing to give it a try, but I just don't really like it. I mean, there are things that are just amazing and sentences that I just, I had to take a pen and, you know, circle them because I was like, oh, I want to remember that, it's amazing. It's not my thing. Antonato is famous for being mad, basically. He had spent many years in 
asylums. Even when he was really young, he already had that feeling that his mind was kind of breaking apart and he could not really catch it and grasp it. And it is something he writes a lot about, about the identity and the self and how it's difficult to be one and to grasp oneself as a whole, um, especially when you have that di the disease that he has in his condition. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching my video, guys. Let me know what you've been reading. Let me know if you have, if you have any recommendations and if you have any questions as well. And I'll see you later. Bye!